qualifications frameworks are in existence in I think 150 countries around the world now. In Ireland we've had a qualifications framework since 2003 and we have been looking over time at is it working, is it making a difference and we thought it'd be really useful as, as more and more evidence or knowledge is available at European level, thanks to CETIFOP for doing good analysis on this, and also outside of Europe on the impact of qualifications, it'd be really good to bring researchers and policy makers together in the one room to share experiences about how do we look at qualifications frameworks in terms of impact. As policy makers, we need to gather information, data, intelligence about the extent to which policies such as qualifications frameworks are making a difference for the lives of citizens in Europe and beyond. In that respect, making a difference, you, uh, in your presentations, we, you were a bit provocative in saying that uh, there is also perhaps a negative impact, and you've mentioned the value for money criterion. There have been critical commentary on qualifications frameworks. I do believe that for the most part, qualifications frameworks give positive impacts and benefits for citizens, but I think it's also to be aware that there can be negative associations of qualifications frameworks. And, and the question really is, if a qualification framework doesn't deliver on its purpose, well, is that an issue of a bad policy or a bad qualifications framework? Or is it an issue of poor implementation of that uh, policy instrument, in this case, a qualifications framework? An important finding from this event is that there's a variety, a diversity in terms of the evidence or the knowledge about qualifications frameworks and we need to be open to all of that evidence, whether it's positive about qualifications frameworks or where it may be more sceptical and even cynical about the contribution that qualifications frameworks can make. And what is uh, the experience of Ireland? In Ireland we found we have a qualifications framework, as I said, since 2003. Even though we have widespread use of quality qualifications frameworks and high visibility of our qualifications framework, for example, we do public awareness surveys and we find 30% of the adult population have heard of the National Framework of Qualification. I mean, that's a, a very high figure. Um, by any standard, but still there's a requirement in us as policy makers to show that there is added value, contribution, the qualifications frameworks are not just highly visible and widely used, but they are making positive impacts on, uh, for, uh, in terms of meeting the social and economic needs of citizens in Ireland. And you think this is the case in Ireland? Based on what we've done, we've done two um, assessment impacts, one back in 2009 and one just this year. We'll be publishing the results shortly. And when we ask people, people say, yes, it is making those positive difference in terms of making the system uh, more transparent, instead of in terms of enhancing the quality or the relevance of qualifications, in terms of making it easier to connect qualifications with vacancies or jobs, in terms of making it easier to recognize qualifications, whether they're foreign qualifications or Irish qualifications. So people who use the instrument are telling us it works. But I think we can't be complacent about these things and we have to continually monitor and engage with stakeholders, wide possible group of stakeholders as possible, to constantly confirm or challenge uh, the assertions that we're making about qualifications frameworks.